Hello. Hi. Hey, what's up? All right. So our topic is obviously uh, animosity between social groups on campus. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys think that there's animosity? Oh, oh, of course, yeah. I can't say the F word. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I completely agree that there is a uh, animosity on campus for at least for at least for me. I don't know about you two, but uh, people don't want to invite me to do things because I'm not part of their clique or group on mm -hmm. campus here. Mm -hmm. I definitely see the same thing. I was a part of uh, one of the groups that I believe we'll be discussing later, and I definitely feel like I treated others that way unintentionally, just being part of that kind of institutionalized um, way of thinking, I suppose. Yeah, I think that there definitely is because um, people have different personalities and obviously there's going to be cliques towards each other, but that doesn't mean you have to take it out in a certain way that they, a lot of people do. It's not just an issue on our campus. There's definitely issues on other campuses. It's why they call me. Like, uh, Crane, the frats, sorority, sport teams. Sport teams. The general public, I guess. <laughs> You could even get it in, into smaller subcultures like uh, humans versus zombies people. Oh my yep. god, I hate those people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate those people so much. Well, you just got the whole, whole, every humans versus zombies person in our class and then you're... No, they, they like... I, I, I hate those people. I kid you not, last time they, uh, last semester they played, they, uh, I was just going through the union and one of them just bumped into me type of thing and they didn't even say sorry. And I was just like, excuse See? you. Social animosity. <laughs> <laughs> between groups on uh, there yeah so why do, is there a social animosity between these groups because they're different cliques of people so they're going to obviously be like some question between those groups like oh they're a little weird or oh I don't really like them that much however um, like they said animosity is like brewing between them so now maybe like, the sports team is, or won't be very nice to the cranies the cranies aren't going to be very nice to the sports teams or the Greeks and I think it all comes down to really nothing more than the unknown. Uh, people don't like people because of what they don't know about them. And when in reality, if you were to meet these people in any other thing outside of their uniform or their letters or their, you know, without their instrument, yeah. you would love to hang out with them. Like, you would want to be boys. They don't right? give them a chance. Yeah. So it's not very fair. It's just in human nature, though, to, to do that. So we have to figure out a way to break that down. Factual. Um, we could make people like have groups like more group activities but then again like some people might not come to those but it would be an option for like a strategy to maybe have people more aware of each group to learn about it but then again it would be on those people so there's only like one way that we think would possibly be able to solve it which is you guys can talk about that which uh, is uh, yeah really I think well what we refer to it as in um, anthropology is um, the word that I can't think of right now. <laughs> uh, no. Switch places. Yeah, switch places. Um, uh, oh, God. I... Yes, uh, to switch places with one another. So, say, for example, uh, one of the people from Crane would uh, switch places with one of the hockey team players, and one of the hockey team players could switch places with uh, a uh, frat or sorority. Participant observation, that's what it's called. There you that's go. where you actually How? indulge in like each person's culture so you can truly get a sense of what their you know how what their everyday life is so they're not you know putting on a different front for you when you're they're studying you're actually living the life so you can yeah. fully understand and the only way this would work is if it went from like the highest like the dean made it a rule that in order to even have these social groups yeah. exist you needed to rotate people into the switching places that way everybody gets to do it and that's like the most way you, you could bring down animosity because everyone's going to be in that person's shoes. And then once once it's been taught over an extended period of time, you'll become kind of self-accountable so they won't have to, like it would be tough to introduce at first because most people would probably think it was stupid, but once it had been passed down a few generations, um, it would just people, be second nature. Yeah, like they, it would just be like, oh, this is something that we just do. Mm -hmm. The best part is it wouldn't cost anything. Exactly. Yeah, it wouldn't cost anything. And that's the only way you could have the social groups is if that rule was implemented. That way nobody could just blow it off. Yeah. Yeah.